All right, it is time for round three of the uh, spot welder uh, showdown. This is the current reigning champion. This thing is excellent. Its only downside is that it gets very warm after a few spot welds, so you kind of can only do a few batteries and then you got to take a break. But it's excellent. It hits very hard. Here are the two new candidates. Um, this is a design very similar to my original spot welder but it claims to be a newer upgraded one with much larger tracks and I have to say the tracks are much larger and I think I still have, yeah, I still have one of the older versions and uh, you can noticeably see the tracks are way beefier on this one. So um, we will um, set this up and test it out in a second. I have to put the capacitor and the uh, buzzer on it but um, I'll set this up and we'll do some testing with it. Here is the other one I purchased. Um, this is a weirder design. Um, now the nice thing is it does have you know s uh, six beefy MOSFETs on it and the tracks are pretty large so that's great. Um, but it's a little bit of a weirder design you know it's got a power input which I'm uncertain what that's for and um, it has these two potentiometers that um, one is for uh, delay and one is for pulse. So I think this one is how long it waits before it actually fires and then this is how strong the fire is. So we'll have to play with these two to kind of set it up but uh, this one should be an interesting one to test out. So um, let me uh, get these ready and I'll bring you back in a second for some, for some testing. Okay, let's test out the, the supposed uprated version of my original spot welder. It is assembled. Let's plug it in for the first time. Okay, there we go. It is up. Um, see how the button works on this one. Oh. Okay, so this one does not have a red mode like my old, like my old spot welder. You just kind of step through level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five is the is the strongest level. So um, let's uh, let's see how this one does. Pretty good actually. I don't I don't love the beep every time I spot weld. How's that for heat? Feels okay. And and I um these are very respectable spot welds. Um not as not as strong as this but very respectable spot welds to the point where I'd be happy to build the battery with this one and then maybe finish off some of the double spot welds with this one um, which honestly that was kind of what I was looking for because this gets so hot I don't foresee myself using this on an entire big battery but this one um, Still, still cool, and and left some very nice spot welds. Let me um, let me see how it, how it handles some uh, you know a piece of double nickel on here. Pretty respectable. Let's see how that peels off. Tore it a little bit. Um, you know, not wasn't quite wasn't quite this strength, but I am very very happy with the spot welds it did on the um, directly to the battery. Um, it seems like you know one. Oh yeah. Don't know if you can see that that tore through the nickel there. Um, very, very respectable. Um, this, I am, I am happy with this. This will go into my rotation. Like I said, this might be the, a great spot welder 
to lay some of your initial strip and then maybe finish off with this heavy header. Um, so great first start. Um, but now I guess let's uh, uh, let me put the leads on this one and check this one out. Um, this is the weird one. You know, it's big, beefy, but it has these sort of um, pots that we have to turn to 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 set it up. So we'll have to play with this one. So let's uh, let's get it set up and play with it. Okay, I have the second spot welder set up over here. Um, so let's plug this in and hope it doesn't blow up. This, like I said, this is a different design. I'm gonna have to definitely experiment with this one. And let me first find a screwdriver that fits the parts. Nope, oh, does that actually fit the parts? Nope, does not fit the parts. Um, they make special screwdrivers that fit these parts, but let me see if I can find, find one. Nope, I need a... This flathead might work. Nope. See if this fits. Yes, this fits. Okay. So let's see what the range of this is. So I think on the delay, I'm gonna go in the middle. And I guess I might as well try, I'm gonna try medium power for now. Anyways, let's plug this in and see if it blows up, see if it even turns on because I don't know why it has this external power plug here. So let's see what happens. Okay, we have a little light. That's a good start. There is an on off button here, which I don't know what that does. The light has stayed on. I don't know what the on off button does. Um, but anyways, let's, I'm going to, Let's do a spot weld. Now, I must admit, I don't love how close the positive and negative connections are. It's very easy for an oversized lug to touch that, to touch that um, positive connection there. But anyways, let's see how a, how a spot weld goes. Whoa! Whoa, we just burned through that lithium cell completely. I am literally not sure what just happened. Um, wow. We are lucky we didn't cause a fire. Have a look here. We burned clean through the head of the um, of this 18650. A very expensive 18650, I might admit. Uh, thank you, spot welder. So, um, wow. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, w wow, that was something else. Um, so this battery now is quite dangerous. I'm going to have to um, be very careful what I do with this battery, but I'll have to eventually, I'll have to try and discharge it and then dispose of it. Um, well, before we blow up any more of my good batteries, um, maybe we should do some nickel on nickel testing. And I, um, I am, I'm a little concerned that it didn't pulse. Um, it just seemed to continue to apply the current, which is what melted the nickel. Um, so this is a, you know, this is interesting. I'm gonna have to think about how am I going to test this because, um, you know what? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the power. How's that? Let's turn the power like all the way down. And then, Turn the, I don't know, turn the delay down. Unfortunately, this came with, of course, this came with no instructions. It didn't even come with leads. It just came as is. Let's see what happens here. Okay. That hit almost instantaneously. So let's give ourselves a bit more delay. Okay. 
again burned clean through the nickel um this thing is ridiculous i don't know what to make of it um what happens if i turn the power the other way i mean you would think to the right is higher power um you know what? In the name of science, let's turn it all the way up and see what happens. Okay, I mean, we burned another hole in the nickel, but uh, I don't know if we're making any progress here. I have to say, this thing, this thing is something else. I wonder if I'd be better off with my smaller battery. Um, in fact, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my smaller battery on here um, because whatever we're currently doing is too much. Let's get some more nickel here. I'm going to increase that pulse, uh, that pulse time a little bit. No, the delay time. Uh, can you even see this? Nope. All right, let's see what happens with two pieces of nickel here. Instantaneously just, just melts the nickel. I mean, this is melted. And the problem is it's not pulsing. I wish I had a... Uh, Wish I had a manual. You know what, let me see if I can find a manual for this thing, see if there happened to be a manual um, online. Um, but as it currently stands, all this thing is, this thing's like a lightsaber. It just melts through everything and it has no pulse. So anyways, let me jump online and see what I can find and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've read the manual. Well, I didn't read the manual, I reread the eBay description. And I'm not mad, um, you know, I am using this correctly. This, this is supposed to be up to a three second delay and then left and then this is the power level and to the left is down and to the right is up. And so I have it on its weakest, um, I have it all the way st strength to the minimum and maximum delay and then this thing still works like a, like a damn lightsaber here. I mean just just, I mean, that's four layers of nickel. And it occurred to me, I think the damn MOSFETs are stuck on. And true as Bob, if I take a continue it, if I put this into a continuity mode. Uh, of course, it's not doing it now, but earlier when I was testing this, this damn thing was, was beeping out in continuity mode. Um, so I don't know if the MOSFETs, I think the MOSFETs are getting stuck on. Actually, that would make sense. Maybe my battery is too strong and it's overwhelming the MOS, it's overwhelming the MOSFETs. Um, hmm. Hmm. Interesting, I'm trying to think of a way I can I can test that. Um, actually, let me let me show you let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, let's take some nickel here. <laughs> like I said, damn lightsaber. Um, if I if I take my meter here. Nope, that's crazy. Okay, earlier it, 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 the the actually sorry. Um, nope, still not doing it. Earlier, I was I was I was getting a uh, I, I was getting a beep out of the um, um, between the between the two negatives, meaning that the MOSFETs were stuck open. Um, 
it's not doing it now, so I guess in theory the MOSFETs are closed back off, but you could have fooled me because this is just, I mean, these are just straight, straight live connections to the battery. I might as well just hook a positive and negative to the battery and do it manually because that is what's going on right here. So, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to complain that to the, and try and get another one of these because this thing I think is faulty. Um, I think that this thing is just um, continuously live and um, um, not, there's no pulse, there's no, you know, nothing's, it's not shutting off, um, we're just getting straight battery voltage, so um, yeah, I think this one's faulty, so we'll wrap up there, I'm quite happy with this new one, um, it is a beefier version of my original spot welder, and my original spot welder did me pretty well, and this one I think um, will do well as, will do, will do me well as well, um, it does spot well 0.15 quite happily. Um, it, you know, when you start doing nickel on nickel, it, it maybe struggled a little bit, but we do have this one. Whenever that happens, this thing can can spot weld anything. So uh, yeah, no, you know, unfortunately that this is this is defective, but um, um, uh, you know we are uh, uh, we did this this was a better round I think than the first round. Um, you know, this was definitely a win and I'm, I'm happy that I have this one as well. So I think this will be my sort of my, probably my main spot welder and then this will be my finishing spot welder. Anyways, hope that helped.